Dude, this feels good. Oh, it's a huge fish, Andrew. This is huge, brother. It's been really warm lately, but then we had that Arctic chill come through a couple. Ooh, right in front of the bow. Are you kidding me? Dude, it's huge. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, howdy there, folks. Welcome back to another video. We're changing it up a little bit today, all right? We put the hunting rifles down and the bows and arrows. We put all that stuff down. Because here in the south, we got some just crazy hot weather. If you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts right now because it's like 76 degrees on January the 3rd. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but we have to roll with the punches down here in the south. So we got the old boat. Pulled her out of the shop. She has not touched water in a long time. Got Andrew over there. So we're gonna be doing some fishing today. Now the real star of the show is gonna be this gigantic box right here. In it is thousands of dollars worth of mystery items that's been sitting in my office for the past few months. We also have a beautiful trophy bass lake right there, just ready to deliver to us a gigantic largemouth bass. So we got several things going on in today's video. Let's go ahead and launch the boat. We're gonna go through that box, kind of show you guys some of the stuff that's in it. I don't even know what's in it, I'm gonna be honest with you. Also, we have a giveaway to announce in this video, and hopefully we're gonna have a trophy bass by the end of this whole thing. Let's launch the boat, we'll talk to you guys more on the water. Oh, we're good. Look at this angle we're having to get here. A little here. bit more. Oh, oh. Little bit more. So, the deal with this box is, I have an office at my house. I sit there all the time. Andrew's been in there a million times. It's a freaking mess, right? Oh, yeah. A couple months ago, I took this giant box and I threw in like thousands of dollars worth of different Guggen gear, apparel, baits, reels and there's some stuff in there I don't even know what's in there it's truly like a multi thousand dollar mystery box now it is literally full like it is busting to the brim I think this is the best opportunity we're gonna get to open this thing without further ado let's see what the heck's in here hopefully there's enough lures that we can go fishing with right out of the gate I'm seeing some of the new tackle boxes that we made recently a lot of these look the same but you'll notice some key differences especially with this one right these green boxes were some of the favorite for you guys the thing was the old ones, okay, I don't have any of the old ones with me. I was gonna show you a comparison, but on the, the original ones, it was just solid green. You probably remember that, yeah. Andrew. One of the upgrades was this giant latch right here, which is really nice, just having Sick. one latch, not eight, mm -hmm. but the see-through top right there. You already see what's in there before you even open the box. Really like that. They upgraded these a little bit, kind of the same deal. Yeah, these are cool, tackle boxes, whatever, not that exciting. We've got all kinds of apparel. Oh, you Looks about like... one out of the boat, buddy. Did I, did I throw one out of the boat? Oh my God. So close. Dude, I love the t-shirt of the month, man. It's so stinking cool. Not bad, check out the back, man. This is actually not a bad t-shirt at oh, all. Oh, dude, dude, now that one's sick. Did you ever get this one? No. I don't ever remember seeing it. hard. Oh, dude. go hard or go home. No, <laughs> yeah. dang, okay. Hey, another reason to sign up for the t-shirt of the month, I think it's one of the coolest things we offer at GoogleSquad.com. Like me and Andrew, we both love t-shirts, but who wants to go pick out a t-shirt every single time you want one? Sometimes it's nice when somebody just hands you one. That's freaking cool, I might put that on here in a little bit. Okay, so now we're getting into the bait side here. As you guys can see, this thing is chock Goodness, full. Boy, you hit me okay, with. the new hooks, the new Guggen Gold series hooks. These are actually manufactured by Hayabusa. So these are like top quality hooks right here. I they, mean, they call it the Gold Series for a reason because these are some top notch hooks. Now, instead of going through this whole box and literally going one by one, let's isolate some wintertime fishing lures that we're gonna use in today's video. Dude, they're, they're, the bass are busting all around us. Presumably on shad or, oh dude, I just saw a huge one over there in front of the cap. Oh yeah, look, look oh, at it. Oh yeah, dude. You guys can't see this no. too far. There is fish just busting all around us. That's a great sign. Look, let me just uh, throw this in the mix. So we got the Hummer right here, right? Look, everybody's roasting me right now. Dude, top water in January? Look, I know I'm a sick individual, okay? I'm addicted to fishing with the buzz bait, especially a white buzz bait, shad imitation. We've seen a lot of top water activity. I have a feeling this will get tied on today. Now here's gonna be something a little bit more most people style. Boom, the jig, right? This time of year, a jig is your friend. The water's cold. The water temp's high 50s or low 60s. You're gonna have to slow down a little bit, possibly. So this is the juicy jig right here. I love this one specifically because on the head of this one, it's actually flat. I don't know if you guys can tell the texture of the head. A little flat spot right there. So that way when it 
actually hits bottom, it just stands up like that. And the little claws or whatever you have as a trailer just kind of float up. The Juicy Jig, that's my all time favorite Guggen jig. But that'll definitely get used to that. If Ryan was here, the intern from Chicago, he'd probably have a drop shot tied up so fast to make our head spin. If you're, if you're a big drop shot guy, a lot of you people are Midwestern or up north. A lot of you people have ice on your legs right now. So I, my, my condolences, it's 78 degrees here. But the Dragon Drop is perfect for that. Um, also for a Ned rig, you can cut this thing in half and just kind of use its body on a Ned head. That's a pretty cool one. I don't think we're gonna tie up any drop shots. Never say never. Now, starting to get into some moving baits now. Now the jerky jerk, the old jerk bait, that's definitely gonna come into play today just with all the bait that I'm seeing getting hammered by fish. The great imitation right here. This is the pearl bone color. You can't imitate a shad better than that. Dude, I'm not seeing the lure that I really wanna see here. Let me put it right in front of you guys. What are you looking for, dude? Yeah, I'm looking for the juice, man. And with all the other stuff that's in here, there's got to be one in here. But that's a good looking juicy jig. That's probably the one that I'll tie up right there. That's a cowboy crawl color. That's gonna be the one to get tied up. That's a 3 8 ounce. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, we got filthy frogs in here. We got saucy swimmers in here. We got hound recons. But see, I'm not looking for any of that stuff. Although they would all work in their own situation. Dude, if there's none in this box, I'm gonna lose it. <gasps> yes! Finally, the, go, one, the one that I really want to use, because I just feel like it's going to work for some reason, the clutch. Clutch is putting in work this time of year, lipless crankbait. In fact, our good buddy Mike out there in Texas, we've been to his ranch a few times and fished his private lake, he actually caught like a 10 pounder this morning on a clutch. It's about 48 degrees, but the wind's blowing like 10 mile an hour out of the south, so it makes it feel colder. Oh my goodness. No way. Yes. I got a monster. I think it's a monster. Oh my goodness. I have no idea. But it just took off. There's revolvers in here. There's bloopers in here. Just about every soft plastic we make. We've got rattling nets. All the mini miniature lures, like the mini recons and stuff. This box is actually like freaking loaded. Wow, that was a lot. We're gonna take the few lures that we kind of isolated over here. We're gonna get them all rigged up and we're gonna fish with them. And we'll talk about them a little bit as we fish with them. Hopefully they lead us to a big bass. All right guys, gotta pause in the video really quickly to tell you guys about something. Recently, me and my stepson were able to go to a college football game, actually a D1 game, Florida versus Florida State in Tallahassee, Florida. It was an incredible experience. We had an amazing time and it kind of reminded me, there is nothing like attending a live sporting event, just nothing like it, or a live concert or anything live. It just makes it better. That's why I'm happy to say today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one ticketing app. There are over 70,000 events going on every single day on SeatGeek, from sporting events, to concerts, to festivals, and more. With the NBA in full swing, the NFL playoffs coming up, and the NHL season raging along, there's so much action going on, you don't wanna miss out. Me personally, I'm gonna be doing a little scrolling on their app in the future, looking for those green dots, because that means it's a good deal. Red dot, on the other hand, means it's not so good of a deal. So they're always looking out for me and trying to save me money, and I like that. And when you guys download the SeatGeek app and use my code LOJO, you know they hooked it up for my subscribers, you people. If you use that code LOJO, you're gonna get $20 off your first purchase. So your first ticket purchase, boom, $20 right off the top for using code LOJO. That's pretty cool with them. It's a free app, guys. Click the link right at the top of the description. Download that bad boy. Big shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Anyways, now that I've shared that personal experience with you folks, let's get back to the video. Guys, there are bass hitting right next to the freaking boat. There's like shad and stuff getting pushed shallow all over this lake. We're, we're trying to rig up over here and it's happening all around us. Come here, Mr. Jig. We got to get you rigged up quick. There are fish blowing up all over the place. And I'm not even sure if you're going to be the best option today. I will drop a really quick jig tip on you guys. I always trim my little brush guard right here. I always trim it some, especially on a brand new jig. I try to like just grab a few out of the middle and I will just straight up trim them off. I just feel like it helps me out with better hook set, but it's still weedless enough to get by, but you're not missing out on the, those hook sets. Wow, I also just cut it off my line too somehow, so that's dope. All right, going on the hunt. All rigged up, ready to go. Fish have completely, oh, there, there, there's some. I was just about to say fish have completely stopped busting, but that's not true. Now, I don't know what technique to attack these busting bass with out here in 20 foot of water. That's kind of a new one. I think I'm gonna start with the clutch. It's just the easiest thing to fish. You can just kind of chuck it out there and wind 
we know there's fish feeding on bait fish out there. Oh man, we just passed over so much bait. That's what I'm about to do. Dude, huge ball of bait just went under the boat. I'd be shocked if I didn't get a bite trolling through this right now. Oh, there he is. Oh, I was on. <laughs> I was on. Oh man, like I said, I'd be shocked. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there, yeah, that feels decent. Now I was trolling him, so you never know. Dude, this feels good. Oh, it's a huge fish, Dude. Andrew. This is huge, brother. Oh my God. You've got to be kidding me, trolling. We ain't gonna have a net either. We don't have a net, it's okay. We just gotta let him fight. Oh my gosh. I mean, he's big. This is a big fish. He just, he wants to jump. Oh, <laughs> he's huge. He keeps wanting to jump. Oh my God. I really wish we had a net right now. A net would just be tremendous. God, it looks like it's on the outside of his lip too. I'm going to try to get down here a little closer to him. Dude, this is a big fish. Biggest fish of 2023. <laughs> Get it because it just started. Yep, first fish in 2020. Dude, this is huge, man. This thing like, starts here, dude. This is a big one. Oh my god, he's big. Oh my gosh, dude. That is a big fish, brother. Oh, no. oh my god, he's so freaking big. Oh my god, look at that butterball. Oh. oh. Look at how bad that fish is. Oh my God. Why are you bleeding, dude? You're hooking the lip. He got hooked really weird. Oh my God. Damn, I wish he wasn't bleeding this much. Dude, look at that. Look at that Mondo right there. Look at the belly, man. Five pounder right out of the gate, my friend. Yeah, he might have more than that because of how freaking fat he is. Okay, so this is the kind of bite that it might be today. Look at the belly. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Look at him. He's bleeding so bad, I don't understand why. Look at the tom, bro. Look at the tom. All right, let's, I would live well him, but he's bleeding. I don't know why, but we're going to let him go. How's that for a first fish of 2023, folks? Wow. Okay, let's get a nice little release here. Dude, look at, look at his head and body. <laughs> he is so wide. So sick, oh my God. Dude, troll it. I went over that huge pot of bait and me and you thought the same exact thing. Dude, yep. you better troll that thing. I was like, oh bro, I'm already in the middle of a cast. Got hit once, probably by a lesser fish than that. And then he came back and smoked it. Oh my God. My head just went. Poof. Dude, guys, what did I say about the clutch in the beginning? Okay. We just talked about our buddy Mike in Texas. I'm telling you guys, even in cold weather, the clutch, there's something about it, man. It just imitates that bait fish that they just crave right now. All right, folks, really quickly, that was an amazing first fish. We're gonna catch, uh, hopefully, a bunch more today. I've kind of forgot, with that giant box of goodies today, I wanna give that stuff away to you guys. I wanna do a giveaway out of this video, so all you have to do is smash the thumbs up button, which after that fish, you probably have already done, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel, the normal type of giveaway. And by the way, the Guggen Real giveaway winners are gonna be announced at the end of this video. So if you were somebody who purchased something at GuggenSquad.com, used my code, Code and sent me a DM on Instagram. That's getting announced at the end of this video. But hang around because there's gonna be more big fish caught. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. This is freaking crazy. We got more fish busting right in front of us. So I don't know about you guys or what you would do, but I'm probably gonna keep throwing this for at least a little while. We can find some more of those gigantic balls of bait and just kind of sit near them. Boop, right in it. So the water temp, we finally settled at like 58, which is about what I thought. And it's been really warm lately, but then we had that Arctic chill come through a couple. Ooh, right in front of the bow. Are you kidding me? Dude, it's huge. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Yes, it is big too. Oh, Possibly dude. as big. Might be bigger. It's bigger. It's bigger, but he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. I'm gonna have to get him quick. He's barely hooked. Oh my God, Andrew. Look at this sucker. Oh my God, just come here, buddy. Come here, I'm gonna take a hook in the hand, I don't care. Oh my God! Dude, look at that! <laughs> That's two casts! That's two casts with the clutch. 
Oh, oh my God. God. Now this one's not as fat, but he's, his, his frame is that of a 10 pounder. Look at the mouth, first of all. Look at the mouth. Yeah, you can put your fist in. Yep. Look, yeah, <laughs> easily. Oh my God, now he's skinny, but look at his head. Dude, that's massive. Oh, so that's like a six and some change. He's got a frame of a nine or more if he had some weight. But see, he's trying to feed up on all this shad. Oh, oh my God, man. brother. We've two got like casts. 12 pounds and two casts, man. Oh, that's so sick. You know what, we'll weigh him right now. Let me live well him just for a second. Oh my God. No. How? How? A good fisherman, man. I'm That's just it. that good. That good. New year, new me. That's it. The confidence is high. The clutch is just doing things, man. So that's the second pot of giant, giant pot of bait that we've casted a clutch at and just kind of slow rolled. He was right in front of the boat when he hit too. I'm thinking like, oh, another fish, really cool. And I saw his length and I was like, you gotta be kidding me, he's bigger. Okay, let's try to find a scale in this boat. That's gonna be the real challenge here. <laughs> Did find a scale. Look at that fish in the live well, dude. Oh my God. All right, we're zeroed out, check it out, zeroed. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You can't even turn around, so I don't even know why you're even doing this. All right, still zeroed. Yep. Okay. What is your guess? What's your guess? I'm gonna say six three. Oh God, I was so close to being a seven. Six fourteen. Oh dang. Like I said, he's got a seven pound frame, but he's just skinny. If if this one was as tummied up as the last one, this would be a nine pound bass Easy. right now. God, look at that. Just look at the head, man. Look at the, the gills and the mouth. That is a that's a donk. That's a tank, dude. Jeez, man. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna live well for a little bit longer. It's not spawning season or anything. Keep the live well running, constant fresh water and oxygen in there. We won't keep them in there long. This is crazy. Yes, it is. And this is the first time we've gone fishing in forever. Weeks. The Arctic chill came in, then this heat wave came in. It's like the weather doesn't know what it wants to do. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, dude, I'm mind blown. Well, I think the pattern is pretty simple here. At this point, we need to find bait, find pods of bait. That might even be something right behind us. We need to find well-established pods of bait and just throw a moving bait through it, nice and slow and easy, and hope that there's more of those where those came from. There we go, there's our next ball of bait right there getting pummeled oh my god look at that bass are just cranking all right well we'll save this you know we we don't we got to find some more bait in the meantime let's try to demonstrate the effectiveness of some of these other lures all right mr jig you might have something to say about the clutch being the best thing ever Went ahead and put a sprayed lettuce bandito bug on there. She's looking pretty nice right about now. now off this point, it gets kind of deep. So I'm just gonna give her a drag. Would you black buffalo me there, man? Yeah, man. Please, I think, uh, I think that calls for one. I think I deserve it. Y'all know I'm a black buffalo fiend. No nicotine, no tobacco, just the ritual. Oh. Just gonna try to crawl this jig. There's always normally one or two big ones that are just kind of hanging out, this submerged structure. Okay, let's see here. I'm just gonna throw the buzz bait some because I want to. I just wanna see. I'm not even expecting it to work, but I also think it very well could. Yeah, that was a hell of a 15 minutes right there. Yeah. That was like your two hogs in 10 minutes type level right there. <laughs> Hope you folks at home have been enjoying these Florida hunting videos and this little break from the Florida hunting series, which is this fishing video, but there is plenty more to come. All right, folks, we're switching tactics again here. I think what we need to do now that the, the shad bites kind of calming down some as the day is progressing. So I think one thing we haven't done is really worked this deep trench with all the lay downs. There's a giant tree over here that we haven't even fished yet. I think we're going to work that area some. You guys can tell how low I am on Guggen Rods right now. I'm over here throwing a ducket from like six months ago in a video. I'm definitely a Guggen Rod guy, but you know, in a pinch, I'll take a ducket.
Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, got one. Nice. Right where they were busting? Yep. Oh, decent little fish. Yeah, not quite. As big as yours. <laughs> not quite. Oh, God, there's something busted right there. Oh, it's a crappie. It's a huge crappie, bro. Get it. They want us to get them all out of here. No way. Look at that freaking like crappie. Every time I fish with you, I catch crappie. <laughs> what is the deal? I got to get back in there because I just saw something bigger busting right here. I was about to say it looked like a smaller bass or smaller something. Do you do catch crappie every time every we go fishing? Time. That one was a little bit more predictable because it was right next to a tree. So you know them crappie, they get on they get on trees and structure pretty hard. Dude, nice one, man. Yeah, it is. This is a really nice one. Freaking nice fish. Put him again. Sorry, buddy. Well, he's gonna perish yeah. anyways. <laughs> it's fine. All right, there we go. Got him. Got him. Dude, let's Whoa. freaking go. Put him in the box. I'll do it. Let him hang out with Mr. Giant Bass. Dude, the clutch. What can you say, man? I mean, what can you say about the clutch? It's just a catch-all, man. It's yeah. it's not hard to fish it either. You just kind of chuck and wind. Oh, I keep getting like partially snagged under something, so I pick it up and there's like a little bit of weight and I get all excited and get ready to throw a hook set. And then it's like, oh no, just snagged. Oh my Lord. Cast in there. God, probably the trolling motor spooked it out. Yeah, just rip it through there. Oh, I thought you had him. Oh my God. I thought you had him. And I was about to say, oh my God, it's a big fish. Yeah, that dude, me too. When you were ripping it through and you got tight, I was like, oh my God. No way. It's another huge one. Yeah, you, you yoinked that tree. You showed him who was boss. If that had been a fish though, he would have been caught. All right. Well, the clutch is, continues to catch everything in the lake. Trees as well. You on? Yep. Oh, let's go. Okay. Oh, dude. Dude, decent one. He's he's laid over. What's going on? On the jerky jerk. There we go. Oh man, look at how he tried to eat that thing. There he goes. He freaking flip him. For it, flip him. Ah, oh, look at that, dude. Nice fish, man. Not bad. That's a dang three pounder right there. Yeah, any day I'll be freaking excited for a three pounder, but yours makes it look so small. <laughs> yeah, this is a bad day to catch a three pounder. Yeah, because his competition's like a six and a seven. It seems like he like pounded that jerk bait. Chill out, buddy. Chill out, buddy. Come on, dude. I'm needing all that. <laughs> the all fish right. never want to cooperate on camera. Not bad. Beautiful Not bad. fish, man. Two and a half pounder, tummied up. Yeah, I was just complaining. I hadn't caught a bass. Dude, let's there freaking go. go, man. Mm -hmm. You're famous, buddy. Congratulations. Oh, he's only got one eye. Oh, that's so <laughs> sick. Show me his other one. The normal eye, and then hit me with that two face. Oh my God. That was like kind of spooky when I looked into his eye. It was green. <laughs> and it was just his soul. Yeah. Well, dang, buddy. I'm sorry. You can go back. <laughs> yeah, hey. You've been eating good. He'll be all right. Dude, nicely done, man. These fish are feeding, man, especially right here, which is so, uh, it's so weird. Oh, look right there. They're feeding. Look at that. Like the most low percentage area this is us. the most low percentage area, but for that. some reason right now, the shad are stacking up and the bass are wanting to play. Here we go, right here they're freaking running. Get in there, Andrew. The double team them. No! Oh, I Dude, that. Match the hatch, baby. <laughs> no. That's what they're talking about when they say match the hatch, my guy. Hey man. That's that's what these fish are just going crazy on. That's like thread fin shad right there. <gasps> he was probably just like thinking, oh, this one's bigger, it'll show me which way to go. And he's just like trying to follow it and gets hooked by it. Let's see how this is gonna go with no big motor. Oh, like a freaking glove, boy. Kinda. Oh! We'll, sh we'll straighten her out a little bit. Oh, oh no, Andrew. There you go. Yeah, I just, yeah, just got it this way now. Ooh, watch that blade, watch that blade. Yep. Oh man, we had it. It takes a little bit of touch because you got you to hold it up with the one hand yeah. and just kind of skim it on the surface. You're not in bad position at all. You also might get a little wet. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here, bring it to me real quick. I'll swing her around. We can, we can swap places. Unless you just want it. Dude, yeah, yeah, we're swapping places. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta take a shower. Hey, yeah. cooled you off, man. You were saying it was hot. So. Yeah, it did cool me off. That's, that's, just, kind of nice. that's just the universe helping you out, man. It really did. All right. Almost forgot about this guy in the live well. Seven pounder. I'm going to call it seven pounder. Mm -hmm. 614. It was touching seven on the scale. What a beauty. Wish we could have weighed that other one, but he was bleeding so bad. There was just no point of doing it. Check out the mouth and just the, the head size. I mean, that's going to be a donk one day. Already is because a seven pounder is a donkey anywhere you go. Look at that fish, dude. You put them in the water and you really gain a better perspective. Oh, yeah. You know? Of how big they actually are. That's massive. Dude. Get some water going through those lungs. You ready, buddy? Look at that thing, dude. Yeah, it's a tank, dude. <laughs> Look at his head. Takes him a second. Sometimes the big ones, it takes him a minute. That's a beautiful sight, right yeah. there. Yeah. Watching that tank that's like this wide from the top just ease off that's why we go fishing right there folks so if you guys missed it we did a giveaway on the channel where if you any order on googansquad.com that you used code lojo you just screenshot it and send it to me on instagram good reason to follow me on instagram by the way at lojo.fishing just in case you don't miss stuff like this here were our three winners i got them all screenshot we're gonna put them up on the screen right now so we got thomas carroll right here got a confirmed order right there with code lojo that's winner number one got steven davis big order right there code lojo playing his day he's a winner and then one more we got riley simmons if you're any of those three people i've probably already reached out to you on instagram just so i announce it to everybody so you guys aren't left wondering what the heck's going on if you want to get in on a future giveaways like the one we're doing in today's video which i'm just going to give somebody a bunch of stuff out of that box probably going to put like a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff in a box and just send it to you but all you have to do is smash the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the bell notification enabled that way you don't miss any future uploads because i might be announcing a giveaway winner in a future upload that makes sense it's a good reason to subscribe hunting content fishing count content outdoor content of all kind epic day we had on the water folks i know you enjoyed a little break from the hunting getting back to some fishing and some big bass fishing at that it's hard to beat 13 pounds in two casts okay i don't know if i ever beat that personally but i may never beat that we're gonna take this crappie home neighbor daryl let him fillet him up for a different video perhaps we've had a good day we're gonna call it right there Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one of you who participated in that giveaway and who sent me a screenshot and who used my code on a regular basis. Thank you so much to you folks. I really appreciate it. See you guys next time.